Hello, I'm uh, Ted Gardner, and I'm an interviewer with the Public Library of Cincinnati and Hamilton County. And this program is a part of the Library of Congress Oral History Project, as you know. And uh, we're interviewing uh, this morning and having the honor of uh, being with Dr. John Wilson this morning. And uh, uh, Dennis Daly is our videographer, and of course he's a historian with the Public Library, one of the great historical and history collections in the world. Uh, Dr. Wilson, uh, we just get started in an easy way. Tell us where you were born. Madison, Indiana. Okay, and when, when was that? December 18th, 1923. Okay, very good. Uh, where, where did you go to school? Uh, uh, well, a lot of places. High school, of course, in uh, Madison. Uh -huh. You started elementary school in Madison? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. How about your family? Did you have uh, brothers and sisters? Or? I had one older brother. Uh, my mother died when I was five, however. Oh, so, my goodness. Uh -huh. How sad. And uh, my father remarried when I was 17, mm -hmm. and I got another brother and sister out of that marriage. Oh, that, that's nice. That's very nice. Uh, my... Uh, I'm the only one left of the boys, though. Oh, I see. I see. Even though my younger brother was 23 years younger. <laughs> That's quite a gap. Well, right. that, that must have been very interesting in the family situation. Uh, so you went to Madison High. Yes. And what kind of interest did you have in high school there? Mm, I, I was busy. I was uh, editor of the school paper and valedictorian and... A bunch of stuff like that. Sure, that's 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 very very interesting. Well, um, so uh, let's see, 1923. So when uh, when Pearl Harbor came along in '41, you were 18 years old, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Had you gotten out of high school by that time? No, I was in my senior year. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, do you remember Pearl Harbor Day where you were? And, oh, of course. I think everybody does. I think so, too. That I was in Indianapolis, which I it very rarely ever was. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, that's, uh, as you say, everyone, almost everyone does remember that, that very, very uh, monumental day in one's life. Um, so then, there you were, uh, finishing up high school, and... Um, what did you foresee as your future? If I had just been going <laughs> by what would have been likely, my future would have been a uh, clerk in a hardware store. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the war came along and changed everything. It certainly mm -hmm. changed a lot of lives, I should <laughs> say. Uh, what prompted you to go into the Marines? Uh, to be perfectly honest, it doesn't sound too good, but I like the marine blue uniform. Oh, that's a very <laughs> common thing. Yeah, <laughs> you bet. That was a it was an outstanding, uh, uh, outstanding uniform. Uh, and, it's also true, though, that I volunteered for the Marines. Good. And I was turned down because of my teeth. Perhaps. I did have terrible teeth. My my mother was dying of TB when I was born. Oh, and uh, goodness! So uh, I I was able to afford to have all of my teeth pulled and get plates. Mm -hmm. And then the draft board called me, uh -huh. and they said, "Now let's see your teeth." So I took them out and handed it to them. <laughs> <laughs> and they said perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you pass. <laughs> oh, that that's interesting. Well, uh, where were you then? Uh, what when were you in, uh, inducted into the Marines? Or it was from Madison, but I I had been working at Wright Field up oh. until then. Mm -hmm. uh, our high school principal. Uh, had received something that was recommending that they uh, he refer his top students to uh, a project 
uh, some spending some time at well a short time at Purdue University uh, and then uh, that resulting in employment at, at projects in Wright Field. I see. Well, well. And that, that was related to service too since. Mm -hmm. Was that, have, did that have anything to do with uh, aviation or aircraft? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, they were thinking of using television uh, as, well, what radar eventually was used for. Right. And so I, I was in on that project, and the television at that time was so terrible, I didn't, oh, yeah. I didn't think at the time that television would ever become public <laughs> entertainment. Isn't that something? <laughs> <laughs> Famous last words, huh? <laughs> well, um, so uh, what were you working on? Uh, can you tell us what, what you were doing there? Well, I, I was just part of the team and a, a very junior member, of course. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, we were taking the TVs up in planes. I see. And uh, trying to see how they worked, mm -hmm. and they never worked. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, in the early days of development of technology, that. That's a very common thing, of right. course. And uh, well, then, uh, so after uh, after your stint uh, at uh, at Wright Field, what where did you go? Uh, well, that was when I was drafted. I, okay. went, I went into the Marines. I see you went in the Marines from there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and where did they send you? To boot camp in San Diego. San Diego. Mm -hmm. Okay across the country. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I should say. Yeah. San, San Diego was about the size of Hamilton at that time. Yes, <laughs> yes, I should say. <clears throat> but, of course, it was a well-established uh, military uh, base. Uh, yes, had, it the, was. had the Navy uh, boot camp there as well, and the old destroyer base. And I was there, too. I remember those those days and those mm -hmm. places. Well, the... the um, uh, how, how did you like boot camp? I I didn't really mind it. I I had thought that I would have a lot of trouble, and I really didn't. I I, I got through as well as anybody. Good for you. That's great. That's great. Uh, how how did you like uh, how did you like uh, uh, the the firing and and uh, the marksmanship and that sort of thing. No, oh, it, it, it was just all of a big blur of <laughs> getting through boot camp. 